This week we have got weapon mods, we've got black pit boys, and we've even got a space ninja suit. And floor supports, because physics is a thing. One of the things that annoyed me a little about the weapon modding process in Fallout 4 were the restrictions placed upon things like the 10mm pistol. You can't change the 10mm pistol into a 10mm rifle, which is slightly annoying, because you can take things like the pipe submachine gun and change the stock to be a comfort stock, for example, and it will change it to being a pistol. You can make it a rifle. You can even make it a sniper rifle. But the same is not true for the 10mm pistol. But with a mod called Expanded Weapon Mods, you can. You can actually add things like a rifle stock to the 10mm pistol, and you can change the barrel to a rifle barrel. This actually looks pretty damned good if you change the muzzle brake to a suppressor. It looks really very nice indeed. And I've managed to turn my 10mm exploding auto pistol into a fairly devastating assault rifle. The only real problem I have with it is that if you actually look at the grip in first person, it's the same as the pistol grip. Going to third person, it's not quite the same. It is a proper grip. However, back into first person and you're holding the, you're basically holding it as if it were a pistol. It can be a little annoying, but it still works just fine. Now, there is another mod that will actually allow you to add pretty much every mod to every weapon, but this mod attempts to do it in a far more realistic and believable fashion. So, the 10mm pistol is handled. You can also modify the combat rifle. You can change the barrel and add a machine gun barrel, which doesn't seem to do much different, except it has the, the bipod, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can have... I think it was the magazine. You can have a double drum magazine or even a Bren magazine. I wasn't that keen on the Bren magazine because it doesn't actually load in the top as, um, as I think the Bren does. I'm, I may be wrong on that. But the double drum magazine looks pretty damned cool. You get a serviceable machine gun. At the time of making this video, there are only three weapons being covered by the mod. That is the combat rifle, the combat shotgun, and the 10mm pistol. But I'm hoping that the number of weapons will increase as time goes on. I really like the balanced and realistic approach this mod is taking towards adding new possible mods for what are some of my favourite weapons. And if it's possible to have the animation changed on the 10mm rifle, I would love that. Although I suspect that might have to wait for the get to come out. The next mod is the Nano Suit, which gives you a very tight and futuristic looking outfit. I believe the model is the Vault Suit. It looks very similar to it, but the texture gives it this very dark black high tech look. It's the perfect outfit for wearing underneath power armor, actually. It looks like it was designed to be under armor for a Brotherhood Paladin. There are both male and female versions of this armor, and its stats are pretty good. It's reasonably high-end for a bodysuit. It can be upgraded at the armor station, and you can wear all of the usual armor pieces over the top of it, so pretty much all the pieces you could use if you were wearing the vault suit. Oh, and you get the item by crafting it at the chemistry station. There is a suit and a set of gloves. I could definitely imagine using this type of outfit for a stealth character. However, if you really want total realism and you don't like the glowing, which is clearly visible in the dark, there is a version of the mod that will allow you to remove the glow, so you get slightly more realism. Although, as far as I could tell, it didn't actually have any effect on the stealth process whatsoever. So if you want to play stealth, 
and you like the glow anyway, I think you can actually keep it. So if you're looking for something that is very body hugging, kind of futuristic and high tech, and with a little potential for stealth, this outfit might be one you want to try out. You may have noticed that I'm not using the standard Pip-Boy textures for this outfit, because let's face it, the standard Pip-Boy really wouldn't suit a black outfit like this. Now, there are actually quite a lot of black Pip-Boy mods out there, but I chose the LED Black Pip-Boy Deluxe mod because I felt it had a very clean, high-tech look to it that suited the nano suit really well. It has a very light feel to it, actually. It looks more like it's been made with carbon fiber or some very light alloys. I think the best way to describe this would be it looks brand spanking new. It looks like you just took it out of the box right now and put it on your arm and you're kind of nervous about scratching it. It really does look very, very nice indeed. Of course, it's not going to suit a lot of the outfits out there. If you're going for that dirty wastelander look, it certainly won't suit that. But for this nano suit and probably for a lot of other futuristic suits, this is actually a very good retexture for the Pip-Boy. If you are looking for something that is a little less shiny and new, you could try the black and white Pip-Boy mod which is a little more worn, although it is still probably a lot cleaner than the default Pip-Boy. There is also the premium Pip-Boy Black HD, which is a far deeper looking black, but it is still very clean, very new looking. You can actually get it in a variety of colors. I've chosen the green version, so we have green dials, but you can get it in a variety of colors, blue, red, and so on. Or there is this one, which is probably my personal favorite. This is the Black Pip-Boy Nuclear Holocaust Edition. It is, well, it is black, but it is far more battered and scratched than all of the previous ones. It may look a little dirty for the nano suit, but it really is a very, very nice retexture. In fact, I liked this one so much, I kind of wish there was a dusty, dirty version of the nano suit. Perhaps something that looks like the still suit from Dune. I think that would be a very, very cool look. So DD Productions is at it again, creating enough mods that I could probably make an entire series devoted to his work. Um, if you are a settlement builder, he is rapidly becoming the creator of all things useful. He's added concrete foundations which are one by one instead of the... You'll have to forgive me as I go through thousands of new entries that he's added. So these are the concrete foundation floors that we're all used to and they're very useful because they allow you to go up and down in height and even out an area to build upon. This new mod, craftable one by one concrete foundations, allows you to create the same thing, only this time in one by one patterns. However, as you can probably see, I can't actually uh, raise it up and down. I can build them in certain places, but it's a little hard to work with. Now you can actually get around this problem if you have got enough space to use one of the existing concrete floors. You can get the height you're looking for. Say you want something that height, set it up like that. Then go back to the single one by one and it will snap in place next to it. Then you can remove the other one. Now you have the single one by one column exactly where you need it. And once you've got one in place, they will, of course, snap quite nicely wherever you want them. Um, and they're fairly easy to control. So it is actually a really good way to make thin concrete walls. I say thin, relatively speaking. Obviously, if you've been using the 2x2 two two foundations, you've been making very thick walls. There is also a version of the concrete foundation without the wooden floor part. So you can actually have pure concrete walls, which actually look pretty damned good. And of course, the standard 2x2 two two concrete blocks will stack perfectly well with these in whatever 
form you want, even halfway, like so. I'm fairly sure that the settlement builders out there can already imagine the endless possibilities that you can have with this mod. Now, the next two mods I'm going to show you from DD Productions are mods that I love. I think they're brilliant, but on face value, they might seem a little boring. They're, they're two mods that add supports for floors, which sounds a little dull, but in actual fact, it's something that the game really, really did need. Um, the physics in Fallout 4 settlement building is kind of Minecraft in nature, in that physics really is optional. Uh, you, you can produce little floors like this and then go and walk across them. And of course, they don't look very secure. But with a mod called Craftable Floor Supports, if you go under walls for, say, wood, you get a lot of floor supports of basically a variety of different sizes, actually. You've got... That one's probably the one I'm looking for, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's the one I'm looking for. I'm going to need something a little large to support this floor. Let's put that like so. And there you go. That actually looks like it could support some weight. And, of course, something a little smaller if the platform's not that big, or perhaps if it's not going to support too much weight, you could just use one of these. Doesn't look like it would support a human being's weight, but, you know, it would support the platform itself. There are metal versions, if you would prefer that. You'll find them under the metal walls section, fairly obviously. And probably, again, go for that size. And... Slightly smaller one. Uh, no, that one. For there. And as you can see, these are actually metallic in nature. That might be best if you're actually going to be producing concrete overhangs. With the craftable pillars and support braces mod, you get a slightly different approach to keeping these floors up by going into structures uh, miscellaneous. And, as you can see, we've got Billy Bro's Beefy Column, which, you will also notice, goes into the ground very, very similar to the floor foundation pieces. So you can just place them like this, and then stack them on top of each other. But they snap nicely to the floor. Look how nicely it snaps to the floor piece. And, if I place it here, you'll notice it doesn't quite go to the ground. But don't worry. I can actually snap to the underneath of these pieces. So, snap it there, snap it underneath. Same on this side, snap it underneath. And now you have a structurally sound looking structure. Structurally sound looking structure. Oh well. And there are metal versions of these columns if you prefer that. There are also horizontal beams and even 45 degree angle braces, although I did find those a little harder to place than the others. They're a little more fiddly and they don't snap quite as easily as the rest. Still, with a little time and patience, I'm sure you can get it just right. However, I can tell you the wooden supports from the last mod actually click into place a lot easier. So you may want to mix and match those. Actually, that's, a, that's metal. I should probably st stick with the like material. So they actually work very well alongside each other. And I found it a lot easier to place those than I did those. These two mods are both very simple ideas, very well done. And honestly, if you're a settlement builder, they're probably going to be absolutely invaluable. After recording the footage for this video, I noticed that this mod creator had already released a few new great looking mods, including ones that add solar panels and fusion reactors. But I'm afraid I'm going to have to leave that for another time because that 
is all we have time for in this video. Who knows, maybe I will cover them next week when I will of course be bringing lots more great mods to your attention. You are more than welcome to join me for that video and I look forward to seeing you there. And until then, remember, as always, have fun. If you're curious as to whether I've covered a mod in one of my videos, feel free to go along to my website, gophersvids.com, and check the search functionality out. Just type the name of the mod you're interested in, open up the settings, and filter by mods only. Click for search, and you will see whether or not I've covered that mod. Click on the mod, and it will also show you any of the videos this mod appears in.